What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the Pounder Custom in GTA Online. So, right now they're on discount because of the event thing that's going on. So that's pretty cool. I think that's part of the uh, guest list, if I'm not mistaken. Now, please keep in mind this vehicle, as you can see where it says please note, it can only be sorted and modified exclusively in your nightclub warehouse. So, you can only buy it if you have a nightclub. That's the only way you can buy it. So I already bought it. I have it here. And really quick, guys, if you guys would like a different perspective of customization for this car, my friend Ina underscore one two three four on his YouTube channel, he does post like a type of cinematic with some like examples of customization and all that with no commentary. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link to his video in the description down below. Now these are exclusively part of the delivery vehicles. But you can still drive them around in free mode and all that. But their main purpose is for to deliver product and all that that you um for to sell. The crates and all that stuff. So you pretty much get like custom variants of uh delivery vehicles for yourself that you can customize the way you want instead of the boring normal ones they give you. Alright, so let's um see what modifications we got here. So we got the armored plating, you see light armor. That's like a tow hook there. Mesh on the glass. Looks really cool. Reinforced. That looks insane. Oh my, look at that. Bar on the front looks awesome. Diamond plating on the hood and the sides. Doors. Okay. Whoa. This is the one from the trailer. <laughs> that's just that's just crazy. This wedge better do something. It better not just be there as decoration, I swear to God, Rockstar. That's just crazy looking. Okay, do that. Brakes, engine. Do the standard horn. That's the same thing. Okay, hold on. Headlights, xenon, definitely. Liveries, so here you just have like the normal liveries that you have from like the gun running and the uh, Doomsday Heist DLC. Not really anything too crazy there. And yeah, the last ones for free as part of the uh, guest list stuff. Uh, plates. Yellow and black plate. That's covered by the uh, the wedge in the front. <laughs> I just thought the one in the back. Alright, so I'm just going to be painting this black. I'm not going to do anything crazy, just like a stealth black. Core emblem would go on the armored plating on the door. That's interesting. Okay. Roof. Barb wire. I have no idea what that does. Probably kind of ruins your your uh, roof clearance. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I don't know if that does anything. Maybe just for looks? I have no idea. We'll throw it on there. Why not? Transmission. Turbo. Weapons. Okay, good stuff. Remote grenade launcher from the uh, Kanjali. Definitely. Proximity mines. When you honk your horn, you poop out. Proximity mine, definitely. Mounted miniguns. Same thing from the uh, Mule Custom over there. These look a little more intense, though. Mounted missiles, also. Same from the Mule Custom. But the Mule Custom couldn't lock on. So I don't know, maybe if these actually lock on, I guess we'll see here. And then remote missile battery. Okay, so scratch these crappy missiles. <laughs> Definitely going for the remote missile battery, that's insane. Definitely. Okay. Wheels. Okay, so all you can do here, it already comes with bulletproof tires. Okay, so you can just do tire smoke, you can't actually change the wheels, even though they're covered either way, so. Windows, definitely limo those out, and that is all the options. Alright, let's drive it. Let's see how it does. I'm really hoping this is the fast one because the surfer and the, especially the mule, felt super slow. I did a burnout. Definitely a lot faster than the uh, mule, that's for sure. That's glitchy. I had a pull and it bounced up. This thing feels like the MOC. Has a very good turning radius. Look at that. 
wow, this is really good. A lot better than I thought to be on it. Okay, let's see how that wedge actually works. Gotta find a car here and hit it at a good speed. Okay, let's hit that blue Prius up ahead. I'm not really doing too much damage there. I mean, it literally just brought us to almost a complete stop. I don't know. Let's try out the weapons, shall we? Missile battery. Oh, god. Okay, then. This is a fast one. We have to wait for it to reload. And we're reloading, and then... There's our shooting. Wow. That is very overpowered. Alright, so again, it's fully maxed out. Pounder custom, you saw we put all the armor and everything on it. We're gonna try it against a, a little durability test, against a little Deluxo here, to see, you know, most griefers use this in the lobby, so we're gonna have my friend here shoot one homing missile at me, and see how many it takes. So we're gonna start off with one, and then we'll go from there. Right, go ahead. Instant death. So that all that ridiculous armor on there that's completely insane looking is all made out of cardboard, I guess, because that doesn't do anything. That's very unfortunate. Um, it, it really makes no sense to me how a Prius in the game, the same type of armor as that ridiculous thing, that weighs a lot and has all those upgrades and everything on it for looks? Question mark. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's, really, I, I really don't understand the logic behind that. And that was a homing missile. That wasn't even an RPG. Which, for those of you who don't know, the RPG versus a homing missile, the RPG actually provides more damage than a homing missile. So that was the least amount of damage possible. And it was just one homing missile. And that truck is a big target. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that you can actually use those in free mode. So right, right there, you saw him blow me up. So what would happen here is it works just like a special vehicle. So it go directly to your nightclub, respawn for free. You don't have to pay anything. He doesn't have to pay anything either. And you have a cooldown to call it in again, as you can see. I just put the cooldown for all three for some reason. I find that strange. I don't know why it puts the cooldown for all three if you only blew up one. But you can still use your other special vehicles in the meantime. So you can go there directly to your nightclub and grab it again, or you can wait for the timer to cool down and then you can call it in again. Yeah. Um, personally, I mean, I don't know, maybe in the actual delivery, it, it has a bunch of armor that we don't know about. We'll have to test that later on, but for now, if you're trying to use it in free mode, I recommend not doing it, because you're going to be the laughing stock of the session in there, because pretty sure everybody's gonna know after this video that those things can't survive anything so if they see that thing driving around literally just one lucky homing missile shot and you're dead or somebody that left a proximity mine laying around you're dead also that truck has the built-in proximity mines that you drop if you drop one of those in the wrong place or you honk your horn by accident and then you drive over it you're dead so, <laughs> you can kill yourself in like a second. You gotta be very, very careful with what you're doing. And also, um, that missile battery is so high up. I actually did this earlier myself. The light pulls, if you're not careful, if you're shooting straight, and you can actually accidentally shoot a light pull as you're going under it, and it'll kill you. <laughs> so, you gotta, be, you gotta be very careful with the street lights and all that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.